And this time, it's the time of confession. And giving thanks unto the Father who has delivered us from the powers of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his love, into the kingdom of the Son of his love, Jesus Christ. And before I read from the book of Isaiah, prophet Isaiah chapter 12, which is actually a fulfillment of the prophecy, a fulfillment of the prophecy that was uh, prophesied long back, its fulfillment is now being seen in the divine commission of Ernest Gomez of Africa. Africa. Amen. The biblical prophecy has now come into fulfillment as we are seeing nations coming to this world tabernacle which is Tabernacle number one, Guava, where Jesus first revealed himself to every small of Africa twice in 1934. So it is the first Tabernacle, a very important place in the history of our redemption. But before I read the book, I would want to start by giving an autobiography of the commission servant of God, Ernest Gomez of Africa. Since nations have now come to his light, nations have come to his light, to the light of the commission servant of God. Africa! We are now gathered, it's always in fulfillment. The word of God says, It is too right a thing that should be my servant to raise up the sons of Jacob and to restore the present of Israel. Africa! I was very happy on the morning service when Bishop Tawana Maja Israel talked about the preservation of the teachings of the Archbishop of Central Africa. So the word of God actually says on an assessment of history, it is too right a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the rights of Jacob and to restore the present of Israel and I'll give you as a light to the nations so that my salvation may come to the ends of the earth. Africa. So the first moment of Africa was commissioned by God. Since 1918, Africa, Amen. he was born on the 25th of October 1918 in Shiru a district in the middle of the province of Zimbabwe. His father, one of the clan, his father, Joseph Mugonena Maja, one of the clan, C.S. Soros, died when he became a first of Africa was still a toddler, prompting his mother, Sarabina, to move to a home area of Sata, the area where we are right now, Chief District. Africa, this is where he spent his youth most of the time here. He left this place at the age of 18 to attend his fourth year at the Salvation Army Institute. Howard Institute by then. He proceeded to teach the training faculty of the Institute and qualified as a teacher in 1941. He was made a master of other schools in the National Province, including his own area of Chifu. He began to preach the word of God in 1941. He received the divine between preacher and teacher, and allowing himself to be guided by the Holy Spirit more and more, basing most of his decision-making on prayer. 
and on subsequent revelation and vision, he was made a, a Methodist evangelist in 1951. He was part of the congregation directed by the leadership of the way, was the Methodist to prepare to receive the Holy Spirit in 1953. Africa. So the relationship between God and all which is at first level since his boyhood, as he would spend most of his time uh, praying and singing to himself, you would have this private moments interrupted by voices from above. Sometimes giving more, sometimes giving to sing the messages. And more often, you would witness an almost physical vision of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is one of these revelations uh, which led to the Holy Spirit to announce the name of the church in the great autumn of 1959 after he was given permission by Chief Neshawe and the district commissioner of Chaka District. Meaning that the church was to be established in accordance with the principles of morality. Africa. In other words, I'm talking about Christian ethics. A church that is socially acceptable. Africa. The African Apostolic Church. That was Zion. The African Apostolic Church is Zion. Besides the meaning of the church. Africa. And so, Paul was of Africa intensified his efforts and his decommission to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to heal and take care of the sick Africa. So, and this is the autobiography uh, at this particular time and of this condition seven of all the former of Africa. Uh, who in the second part of his commission uh, tries to give a chronology of events uh, that were begun when he revealed the mainstream of congregational worship and developed the African Apostolic Church to a significant and influential force of considerable magnitude in Southern Africa. Africa! Chapter 12. In that day, you certainly say, I thank you, O Jehovah, for although you were angry with me, your anger gradually subsided and you comforted me. Look, God is, look, God is my salvation. I will trust and feel no dread, no dread, for Judge Jehovah is my strength and my might, and he has become my salvation. With the rejoicing, you will draw water from the springs of salvation, and in that day, you will say, Give thanks to Jehovah, call on, call on his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. Declare that his name is exalted. Sing praise to Jehovah, for he has done magnificent things. Let this be done, let this be known in all the earth. Cry out and shout for joy, you created of Zion. For great humility is the only one of Israel. Africa. Amen. So particularly, uh, this verse 6, which says, Cry out and shout for joy you in the eternal Zion, for great humility is the one one of Israel. Uh, Africa was actually made Zion uh, on the 17th of February 1956, when the commission servant of God. And as poor of Africa actually saw our Lord Jesus Christ descending from heaven on earth, accompanied by archangels, 
that we are singing in chanting Abraham. It is so evident that he was uh, the condition of God and the support of Africa was at some place in the east building a house. Then a certain man came to him and asked him to attend a meeting in South Africa of which he complied. When he got to the conference, he approached or proceeded to the altar and made, made his contribution of 25 cents, uh, which was about half a gram, which would allow him to join the rest of the group. And there seemed to be 12 or 13 men with the valid cars. He only left the conference the, the meeting when the conference ended to return to his construction site, he was not too pleased with this house, which, was, which had walls made of uh, mud and coals. The, 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 the wall was not yet plastered, uh, and the roof was too low. Yet to be entered at first, he was disgusted by the appearance of his own handwork and despised his saying, I shall not have like to dwell in such an appealing structure made of the walls and with the mud and straw for a roof. Then suddenly he thought to himself that he should get a eastward and build a house for himself. Then he set himself off heading east and suddenly a man he had never met before appeared in front of him. He was heading in the same direction. He was to lead him to his destination. Amen. He followed this stranger until they got to some mountains and he, he noticed in the distance that there were two large rocks that were directly in front of them. The larger of the two rocks, which was further away, dwarfed the small rock that was closest to them. His escort climbed on the smaller rock and he followed suit, meaning that he also climbed on the smaller rock. Then his companion immediately disappeared. Disappeared, never saw him again. Then he them remained standing on the spot, gazing at the large rock that sought up so high that he couldn't even see its summit. Then at this particular juncture, it is important to note that this is when the voice of the invisible God, the Lord Almighty, the creator of heaven and the earth, Jehovah himself, spoke to him saying, Behold, the name of God descends from heaven to earth. Abraham, Jesus descending from the heights of heaven, from the bosom of the invisible Father without separation, Amen. to be in the to be nailed on the cross, and to set up a new year for Abraham. Uh, Amen. He sent himself to the east, looking up the side to the most immaculate music he had ever listened to, which Amen. was left out from our heart. A dancing white cloud as bright as the sun sailed down from heaven. The road that stood before him of the secure this view of the cloud. The voices that continued singing in perfect harmony reached out to the deepest part of his soul. Amen. The cloud floated in the sky, nor was the sweetest music continued from within. As he stood on the rock, the whole of the African continent appeared in front of him. 
and it was leveled like a road without trees or mountains. The mountain that stood upon was the only prominent structure. As he looked up, he saw the cloud coming down to the north of Africa and landed on the southern bank of the waters of the Mediterranean Sea. The music had not died down. He could still feel the sound from the divine carrier. Africa, the cloud ascended once more and a river rose from the north of Africa on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, flowing down through the middle of Africa to the southern Pacific Ocean. The cloud sailed above the river southward as the water navigated the first of the African continent, Africa. The river is a point between Egypt and Ethiopia. Now fulfilling the prophecy of Zephaniah the Christian, which says that from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my surprise, the Lord of my dispensed words, shall bring me a clean of my and it takes promise on Psalm 68, verse 21, which says, Brought shall come out of Egypt, and Yoga shall quickly stretch his head to the Lord all night. So the river is the point between Egypt and Ethiopia. Then a small piece of the cloud broke off to remain hovering between these two countries. The cloud, which was a divine craft, fell into the Lord Jesus, our Lord, the Lamb of God, and the living archangels who accompanied him, sang for his songs of praise to his glory, praise to his mightiness, praise to his omnipotence and his omnipresence. Heaven continued to descend southward above the river until we came closer to it to know the mountain. Then we got down from the rock and walked to the west side of the river to receive the Lord who was so visible in a cloud crash. Sitting with the people of heaven, the theology of angels, gems of divine soul. He walked and passed through the house he had started to build and the Atlanta rejected. Yes, on a path, then he came through the conference. <laughs> the conference side. <laughs> then he came through the conference side where he had earlier paid for a membership card. He realized as he walked on that there were too many also uh, going his way. They all are not the river to get close to the Lord, uh, to receive the Lord in his entourage. They looked up together and noticed the cloud craft coming closer to where they stood. And the music from within became more interesting and aroused great joy in each of them. When the cloud craft faced them, in them, as a spoke of Africa, the Holy Spirit engulfed him, and he was made to speak loudly. Behold, I lay in Zion a child and a test a precious chief on us on my foundation. He who is can never be in him in any way be ashamed. Afghan! The ground shuttled, tracing the river from above, as they walked along the river, uh, toward the south of the river, trying to, to meet with the Lord. And they waited a few yards below, 
And the Ethos Congress of Africa noticed two golden crosses on the leaves of a rich green bush which was uh, on their side of the river bank. And he said to the men who were with him, Look, these are the two golden crosses that are to remain in Central Africa. Go get it, did you mind? The true destiny of Africa, peace and prosperity would now be ours and would be certain. Only these, we bishops, we reverends, we evangelists, uh, we apostles of Africa, only do the will of the Lord. Africa! And the divine cloud craft yet down uh, the river. And it came closer to where they stood. And at this moment now, the Holy Spirit again overpowered the conscious servant of God and the scholars of Africa. And he began to praise the Lord in a raised voice, saying, Every Jesu, every Jesu, every Jesu. And the crowd, crowd proceeded past them. And they rest after it, praising the Lord as they reign, saying, Every Jesu, every Jesu, every Jesu, until they go to the Blackensburg Mountains on the southern coast of the Cape of South Africa. Africa! Then eventually, the Christian servant of God came here and said to, the, to his companions or to his fellow travelers, and the Lord, and look, look, boys, the Lord he has to cover all the lands of the earth. So let us return to where the mountain. Then, by a mysterious means, he was trailed back to, to, to the mountain where he first heard the voice of the Lord saying to him, The old, the lamp of God descends from heaven to earth. So then he woke up and prayed, God, Amen. So Believe in this Jesus who commissioned him. Amen. They are not being ashamed of the throne. They are intended to be treated with victory. There are no barriers that we can stand before them. Amen. The fact that the world is not safe. Amen. Then you can see it. No hidden at all. No obstacles. Amen. Yeah. Let this music to them. Let this harmony us. Amen. 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 Am